With that, um, tonight we have a, pro a program that's a veterans program, and we are going to hear from um, a veteran who was at Pearl Harbor, who will be here shortly. And we also have uh, two ladies here that are representing veterans organizations. We have Judy Russell, who is a Veterans Assistance Center, and we have uh, Christine uh, Boo, who is with the USO, and they're going to tell us about those, those programs, which I'm really interested in hearing about. I'm a 95-year, a 94-year-old uh, retired member of the Navy, uh, born and raised in Wisconsin, uh, graduated from high school in 38, and uh, jobs were scarce. I lived on a farm, and I, uh, I wasn't very fond of being a, a, a farm didn't appeal to me, so. Uh, in 39, I, I joined the Navy. I enlisted for six years and, uh, in Chicago. I took my boot camp, uh, boot camp at the uh, Great Lakes, Illinois, and uh, then selected the hospital corps for my career in the Navy and sent to the uh, hospital course school in San Diego for another eight weeks of tra basic training. And, uh, Received orders to Bremerton, Washington, the Naval Hospital, for my first duty station. I was there about five months when I got orders to the pre commissioning crew of the USS Solace. It was being converted from an ocean liner to a state of the art hospital ship in a Brooklyn uh, civilian shipyard. The Navy bought the ship. Uh, in 1940 for a million dollars and spent two million dollars to converting it to the state of our hospital ship. Uh, hospital corps from uh, Bremerton, Mare Island, and San Diego on the west coast met at uh, uh, Mare Island. We escorted a special train load of psychiatric patients from San Diego, from San Francisco to, River, to uh, Washington, D.C. They lived a four-day trip across the country and uh, dropped off the patients, and I proceeded to Brooklyn Naval Hospital for 10 months of temporary duty, waiting for the ship to be converted and uh, during the trip. The ship was commissioned August 7th, 1941, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Navy Yard, uh, following a shakedown cruise in the Atlantic, we went through the Panama Canal, and arrived at Pearl Harbor October 27th, 1941, six weeks before the Japanese attack. Uh, so I'm a Pearl Harbor survivor. <laughs> uh, our ship was uh, moored in the stream alongside Fort Island, uh, aft of a uh, battleship road. We were probably about two city blocks behind the six battleships that were lined up along uh, uh, Fort Island. Well, we were awfully busy that day. We had 150 patients on board that morning, most for elective uh, surgery. The decision was made to send these people back to their ship so they could fight the war and to make room for new patients. Uh, we had 480 beds on the hospital ship. Um, we, we, my job was at the medical records office, uh, so we prepared the health records for those that were sending back to the ship, spent the morning there, and uh, we received a, about 150 new patients that day, severe burns and fractures, um, all came without any records. So uh, uh, later in the 
Later in the evening, we had to go to each bedside to interview the patient, get the admission data. Uh, one, of my, one of my duties in the record office was for preparation of the Navy death certificate. And 26 bodies had been stored in the ship's moored, retrieved from the burning waters of the harbor that morning. Well, at 4 o'clock, I, I went to prepare the, the death certificate with the fingertip, uh, with the index finger. Uh, Rigor Mor Mortis had sat in, and uh, when I stretched the finger to fin roll the fingerprint, the flesh came off. The, the skin was cooked. All, all 26 were listed on one death certificate, unidentifiable. Um, well, we took a tremendous hit that day, the Navy did. Uh, our, our major ships were put out of commission. Uh, the Japanese thought that they were going to get the two aircraft carriers that morning. Unfortunately, they weren't in. For, well, fortunately for us, they, they weren't there. But uh, Admiral Halsey had been delivering planes to Midway and to Wake Island. And two days after the attack, those two carriers came back into port. Uh, flight deck was grim with sailors at attention, you know, in their whites. As, as sad as it were, Sunday night, we were so lifted by seeing these two ships coming in and ready to fight the war that gave us a great lift. Uh, the hospital ship uh, was, was the uh, hospital ship for the Pacific Fleet. And uh, in, in uh, March, we departed uh, Pearl Harbor. Samoa, we were there 31 days. Uh, moved next to the uh, Tonga Tabu in the Society Islands. Stayed there 112 days. And then moved to New Caledonia, New Mia. Caledonia. Uh, just before the Guadalcanal campaign started. Two days later, we were receiving casualties from, from Guadalcanal. Uh, I spent 37 months on that ship, three years and a month. I went aboard as a pharmacist mate, third class, one shivering on my sleeve. Uh, I left the ship 37 months later, a chief petty officer, permanent appointment. I, I grew up on that ship. 